Ron Gruber, Ted Valentine, Bert Smith are the officials tonight. And we're expecting a heck of a basketball game tonight here in Charlotte with the Seminoles controlling the opening tip. How impressive was that? Terrence Mann, and it's knocked away. Kofer forces up a three, and Kumaji with the easy follow. Kofer driving by Williamson, and Delorier knocks it away. The Duke's defense has been spectacular to start this game. Jones to Barrett for the alley-oop. Generate offense from its defense. A lot of their pain points have come in transition. Forrest up top, Kumaji <laughs> slams home another one. It's going to be important for Trent Forrest to really handle the ball effectively when he's guarded by Trey Jones. MJ Walker gets the bounce and ties the game. Five of them are seniors. This is a very, very experienced team. Williamson, nice look into DeLorean. The theme thus far, two guys on Williamson. But when he was recruited, Duke didn't even see him play live in high school. They saw him on tape and needed a guard and took him. And I know against Virginia, they were very happy they did. Brings the Seminoles back within one. The Florida State team on any given night as Williamson gets free for his first dunk of the night. A nice find from Barrett. And he will do often, and it's not just for these guys to get minutes, but to get production. They're one of the most productive benches in the country. They convert there in a big way. This is what they do. Consider Florida State's bench has scored over a thousand points coming into this game. Kevin Gelly being guarded by Delorier. Gray the extra pass to Vassell, and he knocks down the three. That is his specialty. Because of the way the floor was spread, look how packed in everything is. Williamson lost it, got it back, kicked it out. Baseline floater for Jones. This is the championship game of the ACC tournament. Most people feel with a win last night. Duke is a lock for a one seed. There aren't many. I've never seen a freshman defender on the ball as good as Trey Jones. And he kept blown by by, by Forrest. He was looking for a screen. Just, I, I think the hay's already in the barn on all this stuff. But if the committee wants to change their minds, I just can't imagine that tennis, uh, that Kentucky loses one game and they drop that far. He's given them some space. Jared briefly on the bench, back in now for Duke, and a broken play results in a bucket. Guys at the elbows of the free throw lane, two guys in the corners. And another three for Devin Vassell. He's made his presence felt in the early going. Top three-point percentage shooter on this Florida State team, 43%. What a steal. Forrest is off to the races, will lay it in, and it's the largest lead of the game for the Seminole. Missed it, but a, a very good shot. And here goes Williamson. And that's a very good shot. <laughs> Barrett with a chance for three. Ray Jones is such a great passer. In Tallahassee, he had 32 points in that game. One of six games this year in which he scored 30 or more. Here's Williamson gambling, and it pays off as Barrett gets a hold of it and slams it home. Leonard Hamilton has always said Terrence Mann is about one thing and one thing only, and that's doing whatever he has to do to help his team win. Williamson muscles it up and in to tie the game again. Nichols is right in the middle of the lane, not even playing goal wire. They go over the top to Barrett. He had Nichols on him at that point. It's something you haven't seen a whole lot this year is R.J. Barrett down in the post, but he can do that. Nichols, nice look. Mann open in the corner for three. Jones will try another three. And that's the first main three of the night for Duke. The biggest thing with a number of guys is knowing who's on the floor, knowing who's a driver, who's a shooter, and making sure you're locked in on your scout defensively. For Zion Williamson, that's a remarkable stat to play 91 of 100 minutes uh, to be out for that period of time. It, it's really amazing. Jones knocks down the jumper. Not there, ball's loose, belongs to Duke. Jones ahead to Williamson. They play on, and the basket is good to put Duke back on top. And Duke in transition with Williamson. Got another one for Florida State. Walker, strong drive. Williamson down with the rebound. Look at the oh, pass. What a pass from Williamson to Jones. 8 to 12 is the paint point difference in this game. 
Kofer, 16-footer. He needed that. They needed that. In a lot of different ways that Forrest is thinking more about dealing with Jones than he is about running the Florida State offense. Williamson with a 17-footer with the lead grows to seven. He's got 18. Walker to man. Air ball on the three. Here goes Barrett one-on-one -on -one with Forrest. And gets it to go. Of any freshman in ACC history, they're just the fourth and fifth to be over 20 points per game. But right now they're one and two with their scoring averages. As a block is called on Barrett. Ray Jones plays so low. What a pass. My goodness. He held Florida State to eight points in the first seven and a half minutes of the second half. Nichols gets inside rather easily, but then Jack White blocks his shot. Why you kick it back out when you've got a point guard on you? Pull him to the basket. Jones again. And you can say he doesn't shoot it, and he does not shoot it yet. But everything else, you don't see freshmen like him very often. If man, ever. man slips, Barrett takes it away. Numbers for Duke. Barrett the finish. They are throwing haymakers on the defensive end and turning defense. Can't finish on this occasion. Florida State has numbers. Gavin Gelly for three. Boy, did they need that. Nichols, nice look. Good pass. Gavin Gelly open again, and the big man is knocking him down from the perimeter right now, helping to keep Florida State in it. Double team in the corner, he gives it up with the shot clock at six. A little stutter step by Jones, and another layup. He's got 15. The race by Kevin Gellick, who's having himself a heck of a second half. The follow will go for Terrence Mann, and it's down to a seven-point lead. Kevin Gellick playing way off of Delorier. That means he can be a screener. Wow, what a finish by R.J. Barrett. A quiet night for M.J. Walker. He's got four. He's got six. Ray Jones plays. Low man wins in basketball. What a possession. All of it, Trey Jones to extend the lead tonight. Jones looking for help, finds Delorier. Shot clocks at three. Reddish puts it up, and it goes. It's this type of competition. And relying so heavily on a small core group of players to do so much of the heavy lifting. That shot will count. Pleasantries being exchanged between Mike Krzyzewski and Leonard Hamilton. Both will find out their fate tomorrow on Selection Sunday. And congratulations to the Duke Blue Devils, the ACC Tournament Champions, for the 21st time.